Hi everyone, but here's another video updated from the last one because the library is not working <laughs> in the sandbox and I want to create a local environment to check if everything is okay and yes, if everything is okay and check and, ch and everything is okay but now we are going to start with I start again but updated the library is the same docs.js but it has some changes in the structure and we are going to see it well for now we only have the html and two files the vs code settings there's not no it's not important and then the first file is the index.html and the ap app.js and the first one is the html we only have a button with his id and the libraries these libraries are very important for now because it's the ultimate um, version of docs it has the update well the uh, new version and the save file saver we are going to use two and then i linked uh, our app.js and we only have the document.query selector the get the button id and with an add event listener click and when someone clicks the button it will show the in on the console log hi everyone and we only have this hi everyone and we're going to start First of all, we need the document. And how we create? We instance with the new docs dot document. And if everything is okay, we are going to see something like this. Yes. Then we need the to create the content. Mm add section because doc functions with sections and paragraphs and things and everything that we are going to or we want to insert in our document it's the new structure that the document told us now but well we are going to use and we are going to create a paragraph and a new text a new paragraph uh, Okay, just let me think about just think oh sorry mm. um with text class I hi everyone okay um for now it's it's okay document we are going to add a section and then the new version of the library use children like a mountain <laughs> well we use children to encapsulate the paragraph and then the paragraph encapsulate the text and so on uh, well that's that is wh why the new version works and um, i don't like it a little i don't like so much but it's a new version and it's a little bit easier that is the only way that i like it well then we are going to export the document and that's why we need the save as function but first we need to export the doc docs because we in this part we are in this is this is the document and this is the part that are where we are going to print into the document 
that's why we need the docs dot um, baker dot to blob because we need a blob then we pass the document and if the document finish because it's a promise it will show you something like blah, like this it's everything is okay okay you will see something like this and the final step is to save us and blah and you and the second argument that save us needs well first the blob and second is the name of the file that you want to that the save us is going to export in this case we are going to hi export hi dot docs and what happened here we have um our first hi doc hi dot docs and we have another hi everyone for now and it's updated and this is the first part where I, I will update my my post of of medium if you want to check it I will share the next step or the version 2 of how to generate files with JSON data or Excel data well thanks for now See ya, and thanks for watching, see you guys.